Hello everyone, I'm Sally. Welcome to Wave International Travel Fair. I'm a public relations officer for Rena Travel. This year, our main tour package is a tour to Canada. So we are going to let all of you know how wonderful Canada is. We'll be 16 experts telling you about the landmarks, food, festivals, architecture, literature, music, famous people, and sports of Canada. And now, the first one is going to show us the places that everyone should live on to know about. So let's go to them. Hello everyone, I'm Amber. I'm Jocelyn. Today, we are going to introduce Canadian landmarks. Canada, a place which attracts a lot of tourists. There are so many beautiful places in Canada. The scenery there is amazing and dazzling. It looks like an angel came from heaven and villages. The landmarks in Canada are amazing. Most of them are natural rather than man-made. Many of the tourists prefer experiencing natural environments. They think they could be closer to the nature and feel the beauty of the natural resources. The natural environment is breathtaking. It feels like a wonderful melody, which feels like being in a dream world. The mountain range, waterfalls, and even ice caves are all very significant. Because of the magical diversity of nature, lots of curious come and take gorgeous pictures to put on Facebook, Instagram, or other social media. They share photos to their friends or family, so more and more curious come after seeing photos. These natural environments make the tourists relax and enjoy their holiday. I like Niagara Falls the most. Niagara Falls is the most famous landmark in Canada, and it's also on the border of the USA. Because it's on the border, you can cross the Rainbow Bridge from Canada to the US. It's a well-known place in the world. Niagara Falls is made of three falls. It brought across the Canadian and American territories. The most useful thing is Niagara Falls serves as a resource of power by generating hydroelectricity. The waterfall also attracts millions of tourists every year. Sometimes, the waterfall and the sun reflect wonderful rainbows. People like to go there for Instagram or other media check-ins. They can also stand on the stage and throw water spur on their face. I think it's a worthwhile experience. My problem is an amazing place, but I like I take the most. I have never been to any place that snows or temperatures falls below the road. The screen looks so dreamy. The ice is crystal clear and the cave has amazing acoustics. Ice cave is picturesque because it is very beautiful. Many people come and take pretty pictures and also check in on social media. There are various caves and most of them are easy access. But some areas over there are dangerous in the middle of the glacier. It is a serious challenge for experienced climbers. You can't get there without a special key. Canadian landmarks are very beautiful and the food are also delicious there. Now, let's invite the next group to introduce different kinds of food. When I travel, experience the world. Hello everyone. I'm Rita and I'm Randy. Today we are going to talk about traditional dances in Canada. Yeah, many different stories about its origin. 
no one has been able to bring her mind to be authentic to living out her mind more. Good. It's mysterious and delicious. Putin was made in 1950. No one can be sure where Putin actually originated either. It's made of French fries, melted cheese, and gravy. Sometimes people add some sausage, ham, or salmon. We can find it in fast food restaurants eagerly, like McDonald's, KFC, Pizza Hut, and others. Most people agree that it originated in Quebec because of cheese. In 1610, Samuel the Chandler founded the city of Quebec. At the same time, immigrants from France brought their love of cheese to Quebec. All that comes to the recreation of cuisine. Quebec is a popular form of cheese in Canada, which means for the sheep. It is similar to cooking in that it adds some condiments after it is fried, usually with some sweet and fruit, such as banana slices, convert Oreos, cinnamon sugar, and chocolate hazelnuts. A sprinkle of cinnamon and sugar is the most classic one. It is like a Canadian famous pizza. The food Beaver Cows is served by the company, which is operated by Beaver Cows Canada Inc. The stand branches spread extensively across Eastern Canada. But now we can also enjoy the original Beaver Cows in France, Mexico, U.A., and Japan, too. According to the founder, Grand Cooper, an idea for the recipe came from his grandmother, who would make breakfast and coffee with cinnamon sugar. But I already talked about them, so let's talk about tea next. Having a nice tea plays an important role if you want to enjoy a great tea time. We all know the maple leaf is the symbol of Canada. There is a special tea called Metropolitan Maple Tea. It's made of maple leaves and the aroma is very strong. And maple soup is very famous. We usually see maple soup on the pancakes, burgers, and sometimes add the tea or eat on the toast. Maple steak, starches, and nutrients in the fruit and common saliva. Later, after a quick People poach a hole on the tree and collect the liquid. Many people like the special aroma of maple soup and its taste. If you go there, please try it. And travel, experience the world. Yeah. 
zero temperature in the winter days. Prince Edward Island, 
Their names are Matthew and Marilla Hofitz. They would like to adopt a boy to help them on the farm. However, the center accidentally gave him a girl named Anne Shirley. Anne's bravery and optimism often brings her trouble and hatred from her classmates and neighbors. Fortunately, her family and her friends, Diana Berry, help her a lot during her frustration. She never gets too upset and keeps making herself into a better person. She grows more independent after Matthew dies from a heart attack and finally becomes a teacher in the town. Her outgoing and brave character indeed influences many people around the world. Mark Twain even said that Anne was the most lovely girl after Alice from Alice's Adventure in Wonderland. As for the other work, Love of Five is a magical religion story written by Gay Marshall. Canadian writers was born in Spain. The book was first published in September 2001. It has sold over 10 million copies worldwide. In the beginning of the story, an Indian boy named Pai is going to move to Canada with his family. They decided to sell their zoo and travel with the animals. Unfortunately, their ship crashes and sinks while they're sailing over the Pacific Ocean. Pai luckily survives. However, there's another animal living on the lifeboat, the Bengal tiger named Richard Parker. Pai trains it not to be hostile to him. Days go by. Both of them get along with each other well during the 10th and 27-day journey on the sea. The story of the Indian boy and the Bengal tiger so won the Ben Booker Prize and many other awards. Just when it became less popular, a Taiwanese director, Emily, decided to turn the book into the movie. It took the world by storm when it was released in the theater. It earned more than 609 million US dollars worldwide, and it was also nominated three Golden Globe Awards at the 85th Academy Awards. Love of Pop was even awarded 11 Oscar nominations, including Best Director. Besides the literature works, there are also many fantastic music works from Canada, which are also endearing and attractive to people. So now, let's welcome the next room to introduce it. When I travel, experience the world.
songs such as Work Only, Forever, were made and performed with other famous singers. Hotline Blade is the most famous song by Drake. The number of clicks on YouTube of the song is over 1.6 billion, which is a really incredible number. The album of Hotline Blade even stayed on the billboard for 13 weeks. Other albums such as Nothing Was the Same, Right Hand, Thieves are also given high rates. As you can see, his work is getting better and better. Now he's a successful singer, and he's made and he made his own dream come true. His lyrics are confident, and the way he sings is relaxed, but also filled with emotion. Kanye West, Lil Wayne, and Jay Z have had their fill with his style. Apart from these types of singers, there are also other famous people in Canada: athletes, actors, YouTubers, dancers, and more. We're going to welcome the next group to tell us more about that. Red Eye Travel Experience the World. Hello everyone, I'm Rico. I'm Ryan. Today, we are going to talk about Canadian famous people. Dennis Shabobolo is a professional tennis player from Canada. He showed his tennis talent when he was a child. As a junior, he won 2015 U.S. Open doubles and 2016 Wimbledon singles. In 2017, he had a great performance at Montreal Open. He beat it. He beat the previous U.S. Open champion Jordan Mahia Pocho, Rafael Nadal, Adrian Marino, and Alexander Zverev until he was knocked out at semi final. In 2018, in Nashville, he beat former world number five Team Shikari. In Madrid Open, he beat tennis singer Koda Kerr until he was knocked out at semi final. Also, he became the youngest semi finalist in Madrid Open. In 2019, in India Wells, he beat the former of the previous year's Open champion, Jordan the Pocho. In Miami Open, he beat four number five Stefano Sitipas, as well as beat by Robert Federer in 6264 in semi final. At, at October, he won his first ATP championship at Stockholm Open. In 2019, the last tournament of 2019, Paris Open. He beat the four number four Alexander Zverev, four number nine Fab Fabio Fognini, but was beaten by Novak Djokovic in six three six four in the final. Although he has only played in professional tennis for four years, he has made lots of breakthroughs, such as beating players from top ten. Also, he has a girlfriend. In from Sweden and also a tennis player. Now, let me talk about Jared. Jared, a Canadian filmmaker, has 2 million subscribers on Bluebee and 35,000 subscribers on YouTube. He's good at Chinese. Spent 8 to 9 years in Asia of his childhood. He's got uh, upload videos regularly since 2018. Most of them are comparing differences between Western people and Chinese people. I think the most interesting one are comparing differences between Chinese high school students and Western high school students. I think the we Western education is great. Most of them have time to pursue their dream, do what they want, so they have time to realize what they want to do in the future. In Taiwan, everything is doing quiz and tests. And finally enrolled a good college. Most of them didn't know what they want to do in the future. Since last year, he has been doing traveling challenge. Go wherever his start hits. For three times, he just used the China's and Shanghai's map. But last December, he threw his start to the world map and finally traveled to Madagascar. Neil Donald Walsh said, Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. I think this is a good example of stepping out of your comfort zone. Why don't we just travel to Canada now? Grand I travel is very world. Hello everyone. I am and I'm Jelly. 
I'm sure that none of the things Canada is just a country for Maple Leafs. Canada is one of the top 10 countries that Taiwan is going to visit the most. Most of us have seen some breathtaking pictures of Canada on the internet or heard how stunning Canada is. But we haven't visited in person. Don't you want to see the magnificent scenery of Niagara Falls? Don't you want to have some tasty Niagara bars? Granite Travel is your best choice. You can call this phone number for more information and you can tell them, ah, oh, I'm with Sally. Then you'll get a better price. Okay, this is the end of the travel fair. Granite Travel, experience the world. Thank you for listening.